This video will cover basic questions regarding the topic of indefinite integrals. Question 1. Find the general solution of the differential equation y prime equals 3. That means, what is 3 the derivative of? We can just think 3x prime equals 3. But how about 3x plus 1 prime is also 3? 3x minus 5 prime equals 3. 3x plus 1 over 2 prime equals 3. Then keep going. 3x plus any constant c prime equals 3. Then you can rewrite as integral 3 dx equals 3x plus c, which is any constant. That means the entire derivative of 3 is 3x plus c. Then back to the original. y equals 3x plus c. So use this. Integral 2dx equals 2x plus c. Integral 1 over 2dx equals 1 over 2x plus c. And integral dx is the same as integral 1 dx, then x plus c. Don't forget the constant c, because we have to show all antiderivatives of the function. There is a formula. The antiderivative k is kx plus c, because kx plus c prime equals k. d dx of x cubed equals 3x squared. Then we can write integral 3x squared dx equals x cubed plus c. If we are looking for the antiderivative of x squared, then d dx of x cubed divided by 3 equals keep the constant and x cubed prime is 3x squared, then cancelled, the answer is x squared. Then we can write integral x squared dx equals x cubed over 3 plus c. d dx of x to the power of 5 equals 5x five to the power of 4. Then we can write integral 5x to the power of 4 dx equals x to the power of 5 plus c. Then how about d dx of x to the power of 5 divided by 5 equals, keep the constant, then x to the power of 5 prime is 5x to the power of 4, then cancelled x to the power of 4. Then we can write Integral x to the power of 4 dx equals x to the power of 5 over 5 plus c. Now compare the numbers. The entire derivative of x squared equals x cubed over 3 plus c. Number 2, make one number bigger, is 3. The entire derivative of x to the power of 4 is x to the power of 5 over 5 plus c. Number 4, the number 5 is one number bigger than number 4. There is a formula. We can check d dx of x to the power of n plus 1 over n plus 1. Then keep the constant times x to the power of n plus 1 prime is n plus 1 times x to the power of n plus 1 minus 1, which is n. Then cancelled. The final answer is x to the power of n. Question 2. Use this. Integral x to the power of 3 dx equals x to the power of n plus 1, x to the power of 3 plus 1 over the same number, 3 plus 1 plus c. Final answer is x to the power of 4 over 4 plus c. 
Question 3. Integral make the power form x to the power of minus 2 dx equals, please remember, make one number bigger, so x to the power of minus 2 plus 1 over minus 2 plus 1 plus c equals x to the power of minus 1 over minus 1 plus c. Then we can read it as minus 1 over x plus c. Question 4. We can read it as take out 4, then integral x dx equals 4 times integral x dx equals x to the power of, this one is 1, then 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 plus c equals 4 times x squared over 2 plus c then 2 times 1, 2 times 2, the final answer equals 2x squared plus c. Let's do this way. Keep the coefficient of 4, then antiderivative of x equals x to the power of 2 over 2 plus c, then simplify. 2x squared plus c. We have the same answer. Question 5 equals integral 3x dx plus integral 4 dx equals 3 times this one will be x squared over 2 plus c. And the next one is this 4x plus c. But these two constants are different. Let the first one be c1 and second one be c2. Then final answer is 3 over 2x squared plus 4x plus c, where c equals c1 plus c2. Question 6. Let's do simple way. Keep the coefficient 4, then antiderivative of x cubed. Make one number bigger, x to the power of 4 over 4, minus keep the number, make one number bigger, x to the power of 3 over 3, plus 5, x to the power of 1 plus 1, which is 2 over 2, minus, the last one is constant, then 2x plus c. Then simplify, 4 is cancelled x to the power of 4 minus 3 times 1, 3 times 2, 2x two cubed plus 5 over 2x squared minus 2x plus c. Question 7. We write as a power integral x to the power of 1 over 2 dx equals integrate x to the power of 1 number bigger, 1 over 2 plus 1 over 1 over 2 plus 1 plus c. Then x to the power of 3 over 2 over 3 over 2 plus c. Then 1 over 3 over 2 equals 1 divided by 3 over 2. That means 1 times upside down 2 over 3, which is 2 over 3. You can rewrite it as 2 over 3 times x to the power of 3 over 2 plus c. Let's easily consider the case where the degree is a fraction. The coefficient is the reciprocal of the degree. Just to think, flip the degree upside down. Question 8. Rewrite as a power x to the power of 1 over 3 dx equals integrate x to the power of 1 number bigger over 1 over 3, 1 number bigger. Equals x to the power of 4 over 3 over 4 over 3 plus c. Then final answer is x to the power of 4 over 3. Then flip the degree upside down, which is 3 over 4 plus c. Question 9 equals integral, rewrite with the power form, 
2x squared times square root of x equals x to the power of 1 over 2 dx equals integral 2 times x to the power of 2 equals 4 over 2 then make 5 over 2 dx then integrate 2 times x to the power of 5 over 2 plus 1 over 5 over 2 plus 1 plus c equals 2 times x to the power of 7 over 2 over 7 over 2 plus c equals 2 times x to the power of 7 over 2 make upside down which is 2 over 7 plus c the final answer is 4 over 7 times x to the power of 7 over 2 plus c question 10 integral 3 over x times make the power form x to the power of 1 over 2 dx equals integral 3 over x to the power of 3 over 2 dx equals integral 3 times rewrite with negative exponent x to the power of minus 3 over 2 dx equals 3 times integrate x to the power of minus 3 over 2 plus 1 minus 3 over 2 plus 1 plus c equals 3 times x to the power of minus 1 over 2 over minus 1 over 2 plus c equals 3 times x to the power of minus 1 over 2 then make upside down minus 2 plus c equals minus 6 x to the power of minus 1 over 2 plus c then minus 6 times make positive power plus c then back to the radical minus 6 over square root of x plus c this is the final answer question 11 we write as two fractions integral 2x over square root of x plus 3 over square root of x dx equals integral make the power form 2x over x to the power of 1 over 2 plus 3 over x to the power of 1 over 2 dx equals integral simplify 2x to the power of 1 over 2 plus 3 times x to the power of minus 1 over 2. Then integrate 2 times x to the power of 1 over 2 plus 1, one number bigger, plus 3, then x to the power of minus 1 over 2 plus 1 over minus 1 over 2 plus 1 plus c equals 2 times x to the power of 3 over 2 over 3 over 2 plus 3 times x to the power of 1 over 2 over 1 over 2 plus c equals 2 times make upside down 2 over 3 x to the power of 3 over 2 plus 3 times make upside down 2 then times x to the power of 1 over 2 plus c equals 4 over 3 x to the power of 3 over 2 plus 6 times x to the power of 1 over 2 plus c or you can rewrite the radical form 4 over 3 x square root of x plus 6 times square root of x plus c question 12 expand first x minus 2 times x plus 3 equals x squared plus 3x minus 2x minus 6 then x squared plus x minus 6 then back to the original equals integral x squared plus x minus 6 dx equals integrate 
x to the power of 3 over 3 plus one number bigger, x to the power of 2 over 2. This is constant, minus 6x plus c. Question 13. Expand the first. a plus b squared equals a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Then x squared plus 3 squared equals, use this, a part squared plus 2 times a part times b part plus b part squared. Then you can rewrite as x to the power of 4 plus 2 times 3 is 6, x squared plus 9. Then back to the original integral, x to the power of 4 plus 6, x squared plus 9, dx. Equals, integrate, x to the power of 5 over 5, plus keep the number 6, x to the power of 3 over 3, plus 9x plus c. The final answer is x to the power of 5 over 5, plus 3 times 1, 3 times 2, 2x cubed, plus 9x plus c. Question 14. Integral 1 over expand 2 cubed means 8 then x cubed dx equals integral 1 over 8 times 1 over x cubed is x to the power of minus 3 dx then keep the number integrate x to the power of minus 2 over minus 2 plus c then this part is 1 over minus 16 times x to the power of minus 2. We can rewrite as 1 over x squared plus c. The final answer is minus 1 over 16x squared plus c. This is the last one. We can rewrite as x to the power of 4 over x cubed minus x over x cubed plus 3 over x cubed dx equals integral then simplify x minus 1 over x squared plus 3 over x cubed dx equals integral make the power form x minus x to the power of minus 2 plus 3 times x to the power of minus 3 dx then integrate, make one number bigger, x to the power of 2 over 2 minus x to the power of minus 2 plus 1 over minus 2 plus 1 plus keep the coefficient 3 times x to the power of minus 3 plus 1 over minus 3 plus 1 plus c equals x squared over 2 minus x to the power of minus 1 over minus 1 plus 3 times x to the power of minus 2 over minus 2 plus c equals x squared over 2 make positive then x to the power of minus 1 is 1 over x then 3 over minus 2 is minus 3 over 2 times x to the power of minus 2 is 1 over x squared plus c equals x squared over 2 plus 1 over x minus 3 over 2x squared plus c. Please remember this. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in a comment below. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more.